What's up guys, my name is Guillermo and I want to personally welcome you to our very first episode of our new printing show here at Ricoma. With the increase in demand for printed custom apparel and other types of printed goods, we decided to create a brand new series where we showcase what today's printers are capable of and how your custom apparel business can benefit from them. So before you go, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future episodes. All right, with that out of the way, let's move on to today's episode in which we are going to be transferring a design onto a cotton t-shirt using the R550 transfer printer and the Ricoma flat heat press. The R550 white toner transfer is a versatile printer that can print full color designs that you can then transfer onto cotton and polyester using a heat press. And since this is a white toner printer, you can actually print bright, vivid whites on your dark garments. Also, the two-step Simply Peel Transfer Media that comes with this printer is a great low-cost solution for high-quality garment and textile transfers. The sheets have a clear coating that protects your printed graphics and prevents cracking when the fabric is stretched. The transfer sheet is also transparent, making it easy to position your graphic correctly on your garment. Now let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go over the materials we're gonna be using today. First up, we got our cotton black t-shirt. Then we have our Teflon sheet for our heat press. And then here we have the two sheets that we're gonna be using with the heat press and the printer to create our transfer paper. So first up, we got our transparent transfer sheet. This is the one that we print the design on using the printer. And then we combine it with our adhesive sheet using our heat press to create our final transfer sheet. And then obviously we're using the Ricoma R550 white toner transfer printer and the Ricoma HP 1515 heat press. Now the 1515 stands for the surface area of the heat press, which is 15 by 15 inches. All right, so let's get into the profit potential for these kinds of prints. So we bought these shirts at wholesale at a site called Jiffy Shirts and they were about $2.25 each. Then the ink and the transfer papers actually cost about $3, so that puts our entire investment to about $5.25. Shirts like these, you can sell them for about $15 to $20, so that means that you have a profit potential of $9 to $14 around that. All right, so let's go over to our computer so that we can start printing out our transfer sheet. Now this software is included with the purchase of the printer, like everything else that we're showing in this video, so if you're interested, go down to the link in the description. All right, to do this, we are gonna be using the iColor Pro Rip software. Now in this episode, we're really just gonna go over an overview of how to print a transfer sheet, but in the future, we're gonna be making other videos that go more in depth into the software. So basically, all I have to do is grab my design that I already have here in my computer, drag it over to the software, and it's going to appear. Now all I have to do is wait for the preview to load, and then I can go ahead and start setting up my project. Now, because of the fact that this design was essentially created by a designer and it is already created to the dimensions of a regular printer paper of about eight and a half inches by 11, I really don't have to do a lot. And in fact, the software already puts the design uh, mirrored so that when I place it on the shirt, it is in the right orientation. All right, so since it is already positioned where I want it, all I have to do is go here, select the project, right click and print. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load my transparent transfer sheet onto the printer so that I can print on it. Now I'm going to be doing that with the matte side up and the glossy side down. Now, as soon as I insert the tray, it should already start printing since I already set the design to print. All right, so here we have our HP 1515 heat press. Now I have the temperature set to 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Now before I do any kind of pressing, what I'm actually gonna do is preheat the bottom layer of the heat press for about 120 seconds. All right, so one of the cool things about this heat press is that when the timer is done, it'll actually automatically open. All right, so now that our heat press is nice and warm, we're gonna take our transparent transfer sheet, we're gonna take out the tray, and we're gonna put our transparent transfer sheet with the glossy side down again in the middle of our heat press. Then we're gonna take our adhesive sheet and we are going to try to place it right in the middle of the transparent one. Lastly, we're gonna put our Teflon sheet and place the tray back inside of the heat press. Now we still have our timer on our heat press set to 120 seconds and we're gonna be going for again, 310 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so our heat press is done. I'm gonna take out the tray, remove the Teflon sheet, and I'm going to peel. Now the trick is to do it at a consistent rate and non-stop. Mm -hmm. 
And there you have it. There's our completed transfer sheet. All right, so we're gonna take our shirt and we're gonna place it on the tray of the heat press, right in the center or as best we can. And we are going to press the shirt for about 10 seconds just to remove any kind of moisture and wrinkles. I'm gonna smooth out the t-shirt. All right, now before I place my transfer sheet on the actual t-shirt, what I'm gonna do as an added precaution to make sure that I don't have any streaks of residue or anything like that, what I'm actually gonna do is just cut around my design. All right, so the next part is placing our design on our actual t-shirt. And for the first time, we're actually gonna place the design with the glossy side up. And the reason for this is because the adhesive and the ink is actually on the matte side, on the bottom. And that's the part that we want touching the shirt. And now we're gonna place it by measuring about four fingers from the collar, and we're gonna try to put it in the center as best we can. That looks about good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our Teflon sheet. I'm just gonna place it above, and we are going to press this at 310 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 seconds. So we're done pressing our shirt. Now remove the Teflon sheet and we are gonna take our shirt with the design and we're gonna place it to the side to cool down. You wanna wait about three to five minutes. All right, so it's been a few minutes, so let's just go ahead and peel it. Now, in my opinion, I think that this is the most satisfying part of the entire process. Perfect. All right, so now we're just gonna finish off the process with another press at 310 degrees for 20 seconds. As always, put your Teflon sheet on top Put the tray in the press. I'm gonna change my timer to 20 seconds and press. We're gonna take out the tray, peel the Teflon. And that's it. There you have the finished shirt. All right, and that's it. That's how you do a heat transfer using the R550 printer and a heat press. Two-step transfer printing is an easy way to produce full color designs that can be transferred onto dark cotton tees like this one. You can also print designs on hard surfaces like mugs, plates, and bottles. The Ricoma R550 is the perfect printer for anyone looking to get into the printing business or expand their current product line. And if you pair it with one of Ricoma's high quality heat presses, you'll stay ahead of your competition while reaching a wider customer base. And keep in mind that we do have this printer available for you to purchase at ricoma.com. So if you're interested, click the link in the description below. Also, if you want to connect with other apparel decorators like myself, make sure to join our open Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. There you can ask questions and join the community. And if you want to get the latest news in the world of decorated apparel, then make sure to follow us on Instagram at ricomahq. All right, guys, thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next episode.